Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Plant vs Undead. Today we're talking about the mobile app that has just released for the game, which you can now farm on, how to use that, how to download it. We're also going to be talking about the fact that we're coming very close to people getting 100 saplings. And I'm a little bit further ahead because I have already have one plant. Some people might not, um, but you know, I'm not taking a return of investment from this just yet. I will probably be holding that plant and then taking it. So I'm not going to sell it anyway. But some of you might have that decision of, you know, making that short term return. It looks like people are going to be lined up for a pretty nice, pretty healthy return of investment if you do decide to stop playing the game. But we're going to talk about some of the reasons why I'm going to keep playing the game and hold my plant. Before we get into that, though, we're going to go to a sponsored video. This before we go into that though, today's video is sponsored by Gold Inc. Just going to show a one minute trailer of the game. Check it out, see if it's something you might enjoy. Mine real gold and build a real business in the world's most expansive mobile MMO. Gold Inc. allows you to grow your real world net worth while building a realistic mining empire. Own finite land with real world value. Ally with friends and rule over 10,000 players by the open world government system. Find and own claims worth as much as $10 million. At any one point, someone can prospect a claim with as much as $10 million US dollars in gold on it and own that claim. Currency in the game grows in value every day. The NFT capabilities mean that you can own the assets that you hold, and you can sell them on the market at any time. This will help GXB circulate and give players the opportunity to have unique, strong in-game items. As the Gold Inc. player base grows, the competitiveness of finding actual gold will go up, and this will make items become more rare, harder to acquire, and ultimately encourage players to also buy GXB off exchanges to create more demand. Use the referral code down below for the in-game offers. Gold Inc. Available now on Android and iOS devices. Right, so we have, let's start with the mobile app, which is now available. You can go to the Plant vs Undead website, where there'll be the option to, if you go by phone, you can download the APK of this right now. So plantvsundead.com, and you see you've got Marketplace Farm, which is what we're usually going to, but then we now have Download. There is a beta test for PvP, which looks like it's not too far off, hence why I think I'm holding out and holding my plants. Then we have the Farm Mobile app, uh, so available only on Android at the moment. But you would click that and it will download an APK to your phone. So once you have downloaded the APK, I use APK Combo to install all my apps. So let me just bring up my Elgato so that you can see what I'm looking at on my phone. El gato. Um, so I will I use APK Combo, which is a pretty good site for pretty good app for installing APKs. You can just go to install, select the file, so farm APK, click OK, and then it'll go to installing. But obviously I've already installed it. Once you've got it then you have the plant versus undead app. So it would look just like this and it'll ask you to log in. Um, now you just tap there, and then you will have the uh, the QR code scanner come up. Now, once you've got that, you can then go to your Plant vs Undead account, and so go. what you'd usually do is go to the farm, and if you go to your account, to so top right here, it'll have your QR code. I'm not gonna bring that up because if I, Put that up you could scan it and just access my account so <laughs> i'm not going to do that but click your qr code and you can just scan it via your app and then you will be logged in so really easy to install really easy to use i'm glad they're making moves towards mobile content on this and that not just browser based i feel mobile phone for me personally is more accessible because it's with me pretty much 24 7 and it just goes to show that they you know this is where it's headed in the direct direction for pvp because PvP, again, I play, play most of my spend most of my time on my phone. I think my screen time is like over eight hours. It's, it's, it's not good, but I spend most of my time on that. Therefore, it's probably going to be the best place to be able to play a game on. Now, let's get to the the big question of what do we do once we get to 100 saplings? Because uh, a couple of people have been asking this. Some of you might already be there. I am not, or am I now? Oh, this would be good for the video if we are at 100 saplings. Yep, so we can claim these. One sun box, come on. Random seed drop, random seed drop. <laughs> yes, the sapling. So some of us, there'll be some people out there who started this challenge who will have pulled a seed. I know one person who did because somebody got in contact and said they got a seed, which 
you know, you're well on track for your return of investment. We have 100 seeds. This is perfect for this video so we can show you exactly what happens. Um, so I am obviously a little bit more ahead because I do own one plant already and that's been spewing out a nice amount of LE. But we'll probably, you know, in the next couple of days, people will start to get 100 to 100 saplings. I'm not selling my, my plant, by the way. I'm not going to, you know, reduce the floor of this i am going to continue playing the game because i'm really looking forward to pvp but you know it's a personal choice about what you want to do with this um but yeah we've done a really good job of getting to to the art reward six every single day um which has meant this challenge hasn't taken too long so what do we do once we've got got there? We've got 101, which now we go to this exchange up here and we can exchange one sapling for one seed. Now I've never ever had a seed in the game. So this is my very first seed. So we'll click confirm and it'll say successful. Now I'd imagine it will now be in my inventory. I know some people have had issues with it though of it not being paid out given out um it looks like i might be one of those people <laughs> um so what to do if you don't get it i mean obviously contact we need to contact support so we've just exchanged it i mean the, the thing is i've recorded it so you know take a snap screenshot before you purchase it because this is bug that I've heard about before so if we go to this click select we want to see a, a seed something a seed give me a seed it's nothing there there's nothing there okay well there's this so it looks like there is a bug on let me just make sure that is ready to remove it looks like there is a bug on actually giving the seed um it might be that there's going to be a delay on it. Look, at, I don't like this bug. Remember when I removed that on, <laughs> on a natural recorded? Um, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not in a rush to get my seed. So it's not going to affect me too much, too badly if I don't get one. Um, but it, it sucks for the purpose of this video to not. <laughs> not they won't give me a seed um yeah so if you have done that and got a seed you're then gonna have to grow it by some means like i like i said i haven't actually ever received one so i don't know how how it actually works but yeah so once you you got the choice let's look at the the marketplace um first to see whether it is actually something that you know what we're going to see is are we going to see our return of investment basically now the bug between exchanging 100 saplings for a seed is a known bug in the game and i believe they are working on it if they know about it so what do you do if you haven't got your seed the best thing to try and do is to contact any of these pv mods you know just dm them go to the telegram contact some of the admin there or report it in there um, i don't think they actually have a a um allocated support but you can contact them on hello versus hello at plant versus undead as well so you know send them this is a known bug though if we go on plant versus undead we can see on the discord some people are having this problem some people aren't you know i got a seed just fine this person up here um i just swapped saplings to seed yet yeah, no seed shows in inventory how long should i wait before i've a support ticket um same to me what is the contact of pvu and home bugs from seeds so a lot of people are having this issue which is a really bad issue in terms of you know because obviously people some people will be taking the route of wanting to sell for return of investment fairly quick um but i'm hoping hoping we don't see hopefully there's just it's just a delay like maybe like two hours you end up getting it um the last time there was a bug where i experienced in you know, 48 hours it was resolved so 
rest assured that the team are probably likely working on it. If, if, and if it's affecting you, it's affecting a lot of other people. And if that's happening, they're all reporting it as well. So they're probably getting bombarded by reports on this. Um, now, so we have, if you have got your seed, what to do now? If you plant it, you know, you're starting to potentially grow a, a decent plant. You know, the, the range is from common to uncommon to rare to mythic. And you know, mythics tend to have a, a better output. They'll probably be stronger in PvP. Commons are what are selling at the, the floor of this. The floor price is 42 PVU, which is really good considering, you know, PVU has remained very stable. You know, it's only dropped 50 cents from when we started this challenge. Maybe a bit more, a little bit more, because uh, it was around about 11 and had a spike up before coming back down um but this means that you know if you're selling if you have got to 100 pvu now and you do choose to sell um if you do have two plants you're probably making a pretty nice return if you started fresh and you've got a, a um a, a seed and it's turned into a plant you go to the marketplace once you list it i mean try not to bring the floor down Try to list it at the low price, but don't try go lower. If we all do that, it will the floor will start dropping very quickly as loads of people start getting the plants. You, I know you know you may want to sell it. If you do, you know like okay, I want to put mine to make it look better. Just lower it by a decimal, lower it by a point one. Um, yeah, because otherwise we're going to see this drop in the next three days. To like 20 very quickly and then 20 times 10 we're going to see like a 200 dollar return on that which isn't bad considering you know like a 50 dollar investment um but yeah you don't need to if you've got a plant you don't need to worry about the ellie exchange so if you've only got one seed and uh, no other plants you don't have to worry about the ellie to pvu exchange you can just sell your plant directly on the marketplace and you'll get it in PVU, which will go to your wallet. Um, so it will appear, you know, here if you own some. It'll have your balance if you uh, are in uh, on PooCoin. Um, and then you can choose to sell at right now. The profit would be if you sold at the lowest. If you got a common, the lowest would be $420 from a $50 investment. And then if we see um, the lowest uncommon, 45, lowest rare. It's not showing up. Show me the rares. It's not showing. Oh, it's because I've got them. I'm still lit. My bad, my bad. Get rid of them. Lowest rare, 59. And if you're fortunate enough to pull Mythic, the lowest Mythic is 195 PVU, which some of us will drop. You know, if there's like a hundred of us doing this, some of us, one of us will get this and make a huge return of investment of two grand. Um, now, you know, like me putting these videos out is, is just like guidance to hopefully help see the projects that have good return of investment. And the average price, if I really wanted to make money, um, I would have sold my plant two weeks ago and because it was the average price, I, got, I think I got 2,000 for one that I tried to flip. Um, and I did flip, but I bought one straight back for $2,000. It was just slightly better. Um, I could have just sold that PVU um, and then waited, turned it back into a PVU now and bought probably like three plants. Um, but, you know, I, as like I say, I am going to hold my plant. You have the option to do that now. If you've got your seed or if you're going to get it in the next couple of days remember PV pvp is going to come out that is going to be a new way where we can earn we can earn some pvu um if you've got one plant you'll be then starting your journey on to getting two so that you can get that um ratio which they've now changed the stat stats on it was going to be uh 100 le to one pvu but it's now going to be 150 when you go to to transfer it out uh, so at the moment one uh 300 having one plant and then i believe it'll be 150 to one pvu so yeah the two plants i'm just gonna probably sell some of the pvu off after t having two plants but i'm not gonna sell my plants 
just yet holding out for that um so yeah it looks like we're on on good target if some of us the thing about having a bug is it favors some some people will get it and they'll be able to sell it earlier than people and maybe prevent i reckon there'll be a little bit of a dip here maybe to to six or seven um but even if it drops to six to seven even if this drops to 20 you know 20 times six is still 120 dollars from a 50 dollar investment it's 70 dollars so you know i think we'll 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 see in the next couple of days if you do take that route a good return of investment for people a healthy one 2x is like a, that's a winner if you've done that um but yeah hopefully you guys with on the journey let me let me know where you're at let me know down in the comment section below are you are you gonna stay wait hold or play continue to play are you at the point where you've got your seed now from your saplings and did you get it or did you not get it like me are you dealing with the bug um if so like i say patience wait they fixed bugs in them before in the past um they had a bug last time where i couldn't get my ellie and actually when i claimed it it disappeared it was dealt with i got my i got my ellie back um actually well i got it in pvu back so there's they've built up that trust for me that it's not like they're not scamming us um it's too big a game for it to to be a scamming in my opinion um but some of you might think it might be you know fudding fear of you know it being a scam but we're talking about 2.8 billion market cap here hopefully some of you will see a good return of investment on this project might see my role as you know to look through the different projects and opportunities and to inform you of them you know whilst things are not financial advice technically and you've got to do your own research still and take responsibility if something does or doesn't work out uh, but looks like this one is going to be one that is on track to work out and i always feel a little bit better when i hear you guys making money at the same time as i am with this one, I could have made more money if I sold my plant earlier. I knew I could do that. I knew that the price was going to drop a bit. Um, but I didn't do it because I want to take the same journey with you. Um, and keep that fair. So, you know, I'm not selling my plants off for profit um, ahead of time because I own a plant. I won't be doing that. I'll be holding on to my plant. Okay, well, that's all for this one. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That is all from me. See you guys soon.